things that I particularly love about Metrogoria is, first of all, when you arrive there, it's a beautiful place, you know, at the foot of the mountains and the beautiful farm fields and um, the villages that make up Metrogoria. They're physically beautiful, but as you stay in Metrogoria, you come to realize that there's a whole other level of beauty there. And I believe uh, it's because of the obvious, because of the presence of our Lord and Our Lady there, but also because there are so many people there who are praying uh, all through the day and into the night. There are people there practicing their faith and praying. And it really, I believe, changes and makes things to be as they should be everywhere uh, because of the power of the prayer and the power of the faith that is being exercised. Another thing about Medjugorje that I absolutely love is in the evenings when people gather near the church, uh, and confessions are heard, especially in the summer during the youth festival, um, when you could have 50 priests in this courtyard hearing confessions in many different languages and hundreds of people going to confession, which is why uh, Medjugorje is known as the confessional of the world and just seeing lives deeply, deeply changed there. And conversions happen, and, and people coming to a deep knowledge of their faith and a love of God, uh, unlike I've ever seen anywhere else. From my experiences going to Medjugorje, um, personally, I know I have grown in my relationship with Our Lady and with Our Lord Jesus, and it has really had a profound effect on my priesthood has really helped me to grow, um, especially in the knowledge of the power of the sacraments in my own life, uh, especially the Eucharist and the confession. And I've also, it has been a great privilege to see the pilgrims that I have walked with on the pilgrimages grow and deepen in their relationship with our Lord and our Lady.